It is so hard to be strong when you are at home guns. Put it in your cart and do a happy dance all the way up to the register. Do not, I know you're gonna wanna quote me on this. <laughs> do not, oh my gosh, get in my cart. <laughs> Ooh, this is a little bit below the belt. Well, hello, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today we were going to do a shop with me at home goods, except that all I found was a bag of chips and one really great decor piece. So instead, while we we're walking around the store, we realized, you know what? There's a lot of mistakes that are going on in this store. There's a lot of things that we tend to do when we walk in here. Let's avoid those today. <laughs> The temptation to buy things that I really wasn't in love with was really high. And as you go through the store, you just face all these temptations and decisions and things. And so I thought it would be actually more helpful today to share with you the decor mistakes that people make when they go into home goods so that you can walk out of the store confidently knowing that you've spent your money well, you're buying the things that you're gonna really love for a really long time, and you have avoided buying things that you will regret later. So I hope you will love this video. Please give it a big thumbs up if you are like us and you love to go to home goods and look for those great treasures that are there. Also make sure you hit subscribe and let us know down in the comments what is the best thing you've ever found at home goods or what's the thing that you're like the worst thing you've ever seen at home goods and you didn't buy it let us know down in the comments Ooh, or did you buy it <gasps> okay let us know in the comments spill the tea we want to hear it let's jump in i don't know about you but when i see a designer tag on something i think oh great find good deal I don't know what it is about it, but when it has a designer label and it's discounted, it becomes a greater temptation than it was if it didn't have the designer tag. Maybe you don't struggle with that, but it's something that I always have struggled with. And I find that sometimes that designer tag can make something a little bit more tempting than maybe it should be. Now, sometimes the items that do have the designer tag on them are amazing. The thing is, is that you really have to look at the item and really say to yourself, is this the right color for my home, for the space that I'm putting it into? Is this the right size? Is it the best fit? Or am I just buying it because it's got a nice label on it? Because the truth is, is that sometimes you're gonna find stuff in the store that's got a designer label on it and it is a steal and you're like, oh my gosh, get in my car! Tell me if you aren't like this because I need to know, maybe it's just me, but I find something that's beautiful, it's got a great label, it's got great quality, and it's got a great price. I can't get it in my cart fast enough. But I think it is important to not just grab something because it does have that label. Uh, I, <laughs> you might be one of those people that starts calling everyone you know, hey Pearl, hey Jenny, hey Sue, I found this it's at Home Goods and it's only $14.99 and it's Ralph Lauren or Ralph Lauren. <laughs> Do you want to buy this? Do you want me to buy this for you? And I'll bring it home. Okay, right? Because it's it's a steal. We see it. We want it. And if we're not going to use it, we're going to give it to someone else. We're going to make sure someone ends up with this thing. And sometimes we just need to pass. And sometimes it's a great deal and you need to grab it. But you really need to ask yourself, is this actually the right piece for where, what am I gonna do with it? Where am I gonna put it? Is it the right thing for me, for moi? And if you can say yes to those, put it in your cart and do a happy dance all the way up to the register. <laughs> I think one of the best things about home goods is the whole idea of the treasure hunt, right? I love to go on a treasure hunt and I'm always looking for the best products that are out there. So today I am so excited to chat with you guys for just a moment about our video sponsor, which is Dermaclara. Dermaclara is actually really amazing, incredible technology. So I had noticed um, probably about, mm, it's been about six months ago, I was just looking at my under eyes and I was thinking, man, I just look so tired all the time. My skin is just looking a little bit kind of deflated, not really looking super plumped up. And uh, Dermaclara had sent me their patches and I was instantaneously hooked to them. I noticed right away that my the puffiness under my eyes had been reduced. Got forehead and neck patches, which I've also started to use as well because I was just 
wowed by this product. It's so cool because it uses silicone to actually trigger the body's natural collagen regulation and moisturization of the skin. Literally is teaching your skin how to pull collagen and moisturization up to the skin and to keep your skin actually plump. That is so cool. And it's using silicone. That's what's so amazing about these is that they're literally just silicone. You literally just peel them right off of here and pop them on under your eyes. And literally you don't have to do anything else. Your skin is gonna do everything else for you. I do take nighttime baths a lot. So what I'll do is I'll cleanse my face and I will add these on and then I'll just wear them to bed. And when I wake up, my under eyes just look fabulous. So plump, definitely more awake, and I just feel such a difference. The overall wrinkles on my skin is significantly reduced. Each patch is reusable and can be used up to 30 times. So, so this right here is absolutely incredible technology. It is a find. So click my link below to get 30% off of Dermaclar's best-selling kits plus an additional 20% off and free shipping internationally when you use my code Valentina. This is a one ingredient product that literally will change your skin. I think you will love this. I'm gonna leave all the details linked down below for you guys. Check it all out and uh, thank you again to Dermaclara for being our video sponsor. Ooh, this is a little bit below the belt. Okay, 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 I don't even have my coffee. I mean, I haven't even had my, my afternoon coffee yet, guys. I am this jacked up from going to Home Goods. Okay, it just gets me excited. I love the place, all right? But this is a serious one. We need to have a serious conversation about this, okay? You cannot let Home Goods dictate your style. <gasps> I know, I said it, I said it. Okay, I'm not sucking it back up. It's out there, I'm leaving it, not going anywhere. There is like a home goods style. Does your house have it? It might. I go into houses all the time and I'm like, this person likes to shop at home goods. You can just see it. It's the glittery art. <laughs> it's certain types of furniture. It's, uh, you know, like random tchotchke things that you're like, where else would you buy them but home goods, okay? Do not let home goods dictate your style. Because if you do, you're just gonna walk in and you're just buying whatever's cute and whatever's on the rack that day. You are being held hostage by the store and you might end up one day looking around the house going, I don't actually like any of this. Or worse, you might go on Pinterest and you're like, this is the house I really like. And then you turn around and look at yours and you're like, ugh, maybe should have passed on the glittery gorilla. <laughs> you have to know your own style. Whether your style is coastal grandmother, it's modern coastal, it's modern manor, it's a cottage, a farmhouse, whatever your style is, you need to know what your style is. You need to know who you are. You need to know what rooms you're putting together and go shopping less aimlessly. <laughs> Ooh, this is a good one. Do not buy it without trying it. <laughs> I think most of us will sit down in a chair, but some people don't. They just look at the chair, they think it looks really pretty, or worse, they sit on it and they decide it'll get better with time. <gasps> don't do that. <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> there are, other than wine, <laughs> very few, and, and you know, us ladies, very few things get better with time, okay? Most things do not. A piece of furniture, usually does not age better. <laughs> so if a chair is slightly uncomfortable, if there's like a lump in it, if your arms don't feel good, uh, if it's big and loungy or, oh my gosh, the recliner that I tried in the store, it was so hard to get it to like recline and to actually work and then trying to close it, it was tough. You've got to try out all the furniture. Open the drawers, open the cabinets, measure all of it, think about where it's gonna go. Uh, make sure that this piece is what you really, really want because Home Goods does have a return policy, but let's face it, when you brought the furniture home, that's the stuff that you end up just going, ah, it's not worth the effort. And you end up with like the furniture graveyard, like, or furniture that's not really working in your space, or it's really uncomfortable and you don't want to tell anyone. 
yeah, I've definitely done that. And then finally you're like, I give up. I have to submit, I hate it, okay? It's been five years, the chair has been torment, I should never have bought it. There you go. Okay, let's avoid that by just trying it out and deciding whether this piece is actually going to be just right for you. Do not, do not go for the overly themed. If there is one thing <laughs> that Home Goods does well, it is a theme. <laughs> <laughs> boats and strawberries and lemons and a lake house and oh the list is eternal whatever it is there is a theme and there is literally stuff all around it that is what they're there for that's what most people shop that's why it, it's obvious when someone has shopped at home goods because it looks like they bought everything in the theme you can go to Home Goods, still shop all the, the great finds that they have there and totally avoid all the themed stuff. You don't have to buy that. You just walk right past it, laugh and go, yes, being at the lake house would be nice, but I'm not gonna put the sign up in my house, okay? I love that they have so many beautiful pieces. I loved some of the chairs, the little blue ticking striped chairs, gorgeous. Love the little floral chair that they had, or was it a paisley? Yeah, I think it was more of a paisley actually. I thought those chairs in a lake house would be absolutely gorgeous. They don't have boats on them, and you don't have to pair them with a sign that says you're at the lake or the beach. You can just put some beautiful lamps. Oh, the lamp section was full of some beautiful pieces, and you could totally pair those chairs with a beautiful lamp and some great artwork that is not themed to the beach. <laughs> or the lake, because there's a lot of that too. Just go with a neutral print in the color palette that you're using, right? We talk about the color palette all the time. That color palette, you wanna bring it through the art, through all of the uh, lamps and accessories and things. Grab some beautiful books and a great candle. Uh, and otherwise, I think, just avoid the things because you really can shop at Home Goods and get gorgeous items. Again, it goes back to knowing the kind of home that you want. What does that look like? What is your absolute dream home? Don't say it's too expensive because home goods proves that you can have really nice things for less, right? So don't think about budget. Think about what your dream house would be and then work your way backwards. Like what can I do to my home to create this kind of look and, and feel in my home the way it is and start building on that. And then eventually you're gonna end up where you wanna be. Do not, do not cave. Okay, just don't. That's all I have to say. Well, it's not really all I have to say. <laughs> I have more to say than that. <laughs> it is so hard to be strong when you are at Home Goods. The temptations, they're everywhere. It's all around you. I found this really pretty basket, handmade in Vietnam, even had a nice little tag about how the buyers go to great distances to bring all these beautiful items to home goods and I looked at it with the little glassware inside and I thought I don't actually have the first of all I thought it was a drinking glass it's not because you couldn't actually put your lips on it and then I don't really need another basket with like with vases am I gonna use it for vases I'm gonna use it for candles I, I, I really don't need another one of those that piece made it all the way to the register all the way right at the moment of the chips the chips going in to the checkout and I passed on it. You've got to be strong. To pull out the big guns and be strong. Do not cave. If you don't feel 100, 1000% about something, just walk. Because I can tell you right now, this little iron knot, I know without a doubt, I'm gonna use this. It'll either go in my home, it's gonna go in one of my clients, no doubt. Zero doubt, it literally whoop, there wasn't a moment thought because I knew I would love it. But you really need to really look at all the different pieces that you're buying and ask yourself, do I really love it? Do not, I know you're gonna wanna quote me on this. <laughs> do not let the rug dictate the room, let the room dictate the rug. <laughs> Home Goods is an amazing place to shop for rugs. They always have so many beautiful rugs. I have bought many there, many that were absolutely gorgeous. My favorite one probably of all time is the one that I put into the Otis building and Ty Pennington loved everything and, and 
bought everything there. <laughs> so I had to leave the home goods rug with them. It was one of my favorites. It was so beautiful. I've had so much luck over the years at home goods with the rugs. I always say, make sure you buy the nice thick ones, look at the pattern, look at the, the threads and everything, because they do have some that maybe aren't as good a quality as others. But generally speaking, home goods is a great place to shop for rugs. However, <laughs> do not try to make that rug that is a five by seven fit into your room that's like 20 by 25. <laughs> it's just not gonna work. It's too small. So it does not matter how pretty it is. If it's not the right size, pass on it. I will say though, that if you find the right size and the right rug and you haven't got everything yet for the room, 100% uh, you can actually use the rug to inspire a whole new room design. It's just that you don't wanna try to make the rug fit into a room that's never gonna work in. It doesn't matter how pretty it is if it's not the right size. Don't buy the plastic version. What is up with that? Why on earth would you buy a plastic basket when they have so many beautiful, naturally woven baskets? I, I don't understand. Just, just tell me. Maybe there's something I don't know, and I am more than welcome to suck the words back up if I am wrong, but I don't understand the plastic basket. I, it's, it feels weird. Like, it's just wrong. I don't know. Like, we don't have plastic skin. Like, there's... I don't know, it's just weird to me. Some things just aren't done well in plastic. Baskets are one of them. I personally don't like the melamine, as some of them are calling it acrylic. I don't like plastic dinnerware and outdoor serving pieces. Unless you have a pool, I can understand if you have a pool that you wouldn't wanna have those, but then you wouldn't be serving food right by the pool anyways. I don't know, you guys can let me know. Generally speaking, just don't buy the plastic version. Buy the real version. Don't buy plastic wood, buy the real wood. Don't buy plastic baskets. Home Goods has so many stunning, handmade, woven, natural fiber baskets. They're coming from places like Vietnam, Indonesia. That is so cool. Think of all the people who have jobs because of what you're buying in Home Goods. That is amazing. I wanna support that. I don't wanna buy the plastic version. It just feels weird, it feels cheap, and if you can buy the real one and do something amazing with it and it feels really authentic and there isn't a price difference, why not just go with the real one? That's all I have to say about that. <laughs> ooh, 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 yes, yes, yes. Okay, do not buy one if you need two. <laughs> and don't buy two if you need four, okay? Home goods, the biggest problem with home goods, okay? As a designer, right, a lot of times we custom order things for our clients. And when you're trying to save money, you go to somewhere like home goods and you're on a hunt. But home goods, part of their, it, it's literally, if you look it up on the internet, you're gonna see this. I'm not making this up. If you look it up, you will find that home goods, TJ Maxx, stores like this, the goal is to create a treasure hunt fuel for you. It's the idea of a bazaar, of a flea market, and they've created that feeling in their store for you. So that's why you get so much variety. That's why there's so many different types of the same, like different types of the same item. Like there's like five different kinds of olives, but there's only two of each of them on the shelf. Or there's one packet of a certain type of chip, or there's one chair, but not a pair. Now I will say a lot of times they do have pairs, but what will happen, like the one chair that I, I, one of the chairs that I really like, there's only one. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I've seen people do this all the time. You take that one chair home, you think you're gonna find the other one, and you never do. <laughs> it's like the elusive, uh, I think actually in our Facebook group, we have a Facebook group, if you uh, are excited and wanna be a part of it, it's called Inspired by V, and basically it's just a free little group where everybody chit chats with each other, and everybody talks about the black bubble vase. In fact, let me grab it. There she is, guys. Just another level of torment happening right here. <laughs> this is the one, the base. The one that you guys have talked about over and over and over. You want the home goods base. Right there, home goods, $39.99. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. But there's like a cult-like hunt for these things because they're so hard to find. And that's the problem is if you need to have two chairs and you've only got one, you might not be able to find a second one. And now you're gonna be trying to work the one you bought 
somewhere into the house. Oh, please, please tell me I'm not the only one that's done that. <laughs> I, there's no way I'm the only one. I know you, I, I, I know you guys. Let me know in the comments. I think you've tried to do that too. Or you've bought one of something and you needed more, or it was just a little bit too small, right? Like it's the quantity isn't there. You needed more of it or like glassware. I did that. I bought beautiful Ralph Lauren glassware and I, to this day, I hunted and hunted and hunted for months. Every time I go into Home Goods, I look for more of the Ralph Lauren glassware. And six years, oh my gosh, it's been six, almost seven years later, there was never any more of the glassware in the store. Finally, I think that you shouldn't pass up the snack aisle. I know a lot of designers would be like, oh, pass the snacks, get to the decor. But I'm like, no, are you kidding me? The snack aisle is amazing. Uh, we found these, these are called Deep River Snacks. These are pink Himalayan salted kettle cooked chips. These are delicious. I personally think that calling them party size instead of single serve, mm, I really think they should take that part off. <laughs> Then I won't have so much guilt when we polish off half the bag in the car on the way home. No guilt if you're there with me. Uh, but these are really cool. Out of Atlanta, Georgia. I mean, how cool is that? That's a great discovery. And I love to buy the Italian pastas and the Italian marinara sauces, the all. Sometimes you really find some really fun things in the snack aisle. So I think it's a mistake to not enjoy yourself a little bit when you go to Home Goods and have just, just have a little bit of fun. <laughs> so there you go, guys. These are the mistakes I think that you should avoid when you go into Home Goods. Always, of course, just have fun because decorating your house is supposed to be a fun adventure. Uh, it's not a chore. Um, anyways, thank you again for joining me. Thank you again to Dermaclara for being our video sponsor. Click my link below to get 30% off of Dermaclara's best-selling kits plus an additional 20% off and free shipping internationally when you use my code Valentina. I need to go get my coffee cup. It's coffee o'clock <laughs> at the house of Valentina. So I'm gonna go grab my coffee and probably eat some more of my chips and find a spot for my beautiful little find. Yeah, that one may not leave. It's really good. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys in the next one.